Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dawn Ori with DawnOri.com. I wanted to give you guys a very quick update on what happened with the stimulus package. Let me rewind and go back. So, I want to talk to you guys about the actual SBA PPP loan and the SBA EID loan that I initially applied for when it came out. As you know, I was a part of the phone call with the President of the United States and about 10,000 other small businesses. We were invited to a call and we actually were on the call for maybe about 20 minutes and in that call he detailed what was going to be coming for small businesses the loans the grants the, the payment protection program or the PPP loan the EID loan and then there were going to be some other things that were coming like tax relief for small businesses and things like that so that we would be able to stay afloat during this time I actually on the day that they said that we could apply for the EID loan like I told you before I literally went on the website I applied for all four of my businesses and I was waiting so I was like yeah it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and I got an email from the Small Business Administration about two and a half weeks maybe three weeks after it opened up for us to be able to find out information about you know how to get the ten thousand dollars and um, how to get all the other information that we needed in order to be able to receive the funding. Well, turns out that the EID loan is actually $1,000 per employee. My business is just me and I'm my only employee so that meant that the EID loan was going to give me a whole $1,000 and they suggested with that that I apply for the PPP loan. When I got that information I immediately called my bank call my bank they didn't answer the person that was like literally present there took my name took my number took all my information I told them what I needed and they said that they would have someone call me back I waited the next day nobody called and then the following morning I was like let me get my butt up there so I went to take care of some early morning errands from there I went to the bank I was an hour earlier because they've changed their operation hours in order to be able to accommodate what's happening in terms of making sure that everybody is uh, safe. Rather than me being able to go then, I had to wait an hour. So rather than waiting an hour at the bank, I decided I would come home, do a little work, and then I would go back a little later. I sat down at my computer, I started working, and it started going out all over Facebook. I was getting notifications everywhere from Facebook, from um, MSNBC, from other places that I had that I watched the news and that I get my information. And it was literally saying that the PPP loan was, was depleted. Like there was no more money. And it was like, oh my God, <laughs> how is there no more money? Like we had hundreds, millions of millions of hundreds of millions of dollars. How is there no more money? Well, then we find out later on, of course, you know, that there were a lot of Fortune 500 companies. There were a lot of publicly traded companies. There were large, large companies that didn't have the need but found a loophole and were able to receive the funds. So they souped up like hundreds of millions of dollars from the small businesses that needed the money to be spread out across us all little people. Then after that, we were all like, how did they do this? This is just a myth. This is just funny this is stupid this is ridiculous and some of us felt like we got cheated a lot of us felt like we got cheated a lot of us didn't though because for some of them they were on it just like I was on it but they got the information into the bank rather than doing the EID they just did they just went straight to the PPP I didn't do that because I wasn't sure in in the meantime what happened is they refunded the program when the house announced that there was going to be a new funding of the program I went straight to my bank I went in I talked to them and they were like no we can't help you we're not accepting any new applications we have enough applications right now from everybody that went in we can't help you you know I'm getting a new bank right okay anyway <laughs> so that's the first order of business after I get all of this stuff taken care of but then I went to okay so if you can't help me who can and I started thinking about it and then I read up on the information in the middle of all of this the bigger companies got so much pressure from us the smaller people finding out that they had done you know gotten the money through a loophole everybody started giving the money back 
after they started giving the money back, then the federal government said all publicly traded companies must give the money back. So that brought in hundreds of millions of dollars more for small businesses because for us, you know, without having the lifeline of money coming in, we can go out of business. One of the things that I know about the American economy is the small business owners are the ones that hold the fibers together. A lot of people are closing their doors because they just don't have the money to get through the time. Tell you what I did. I kept going. This time I said I am not missing it. I am not missing it. I had to muddle through. I had to do my taxes very quickly. Um, I had to get all my information from all of my sources of income very quickly. Then I had to pick. I had to pick which company I was going to use in order to be able to get funding. So what I did was I went to the SBA website and found out, okay, what happens if this and if this and if this and this. And I literally read all the stuff. After I read all of the stuff, I found a lender that I was comfortable with using and I submitted my application. I didn't know how long it was gonna be. I didn't know what was going to happen with it. I, I had no idea. How about I submitted my application that day, that same day the SBA pulled my credit. How do I know they pulled my credit? Because I got a dean. <laughs> I got a dean from discover that my credit was bit had been checked and there was an inquiry and I was like an inquiry I didn't I didn't apply for any credit I don't you know I didn't apply for any credit so I was able to then now here's a here's a side note those credit services are very valuable very very valuable another side note I am so grateful that I took the last year and a half to work on my credit my personal credit because what if they had pulled my credit and my credit didn't make me eligible for the loan? Simply from maybe even five to 10 points. I'm not where I want to be, but my God, I am not where I used to be. And it took my score down one point and I was not happy with that. <laughs> and I was like, I better get this loan. They're messing mess with my credit. They're messing with my credit. I better get this loan. I'm happy to report that the Small Business Administration and the United States government are actually helping small businesses. It's enough for me to be able to meet my payroll and for everything to happen the way it needs to happen so that there is money flowing in my business and in turn, wherever else it needs to flow. And it's enough for me to be able to do what I need to do right now. Is it going to sustain me forever? No. But here's the other thing. Remember I told you, remember I told you guys that when I got out, I'm going to roll back a couple of weeks from the from this point to the last video. In the last video, I was talking about how I came out of the shower and there were just opportunities that were right there in my email that I didn't know that were even there. I didn't understand. And I'm not as good with reading email because I get so many I have so many different email addresses I read I read a lot of email but then I don't read a lot of email and I think that's everybody because we get so much email but this particular email I read and they were talking about how the PPP loan was coming back how I needed to make sure that I was on it how I needed to look at alternative lenders that would be able to do the lending for me how I needed to follow the program rules how I needed to make sure that if I got the funding that I used it for what I said I was going to use it for, which I am, because payroll needs to happen. <laughs> payroll needs to get met, okay? So there was also some information about small business owners who were independent contractors or small business owners have an opportunity at this point to be able to get unemployment, a feat that has never been had done in America. <laughs> So I was like, okay, well, let me see about that. And I literally went and started that process. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I started that process. I've been up since 530 this morning because today was the day. Now, wait, let me roll back again. I was on a networking 
Zoom. I had never, I've never been on a networking Zoom that way with these ladies. Now, I've, I've met them in person. They all know me, We, but we just, I've never been able to make the networking Zooms. I've been like in Zumba class and not willing to get out of my Zumba class, you know, or to make sure that I'm trying to create or doing videos or doing my podcast or doing something. So on this video call, I meet this lady who works for the unemployment office and she's sitting in her car talking to us about the stress of being an employee at the unemployment office right now because they are so overwhelmed with the millions of people who have applied for unemployment in California. And I just happened to blurt out to her, well, you know what? Literally, I just put in my information for my unemployment last week uh, or the other day. And she's like, well, I got the inside scoop. You're going to have to reapply on the 28th. I was like, really? She was like, yeah. Man. The beautiful part of it is they reopened everything and were just waiting on me to apply today. Listen, they were just waiting on me to apply today. Yesterday, I checked to make sure that there, there was anything that I needed to get done, get it done. And I woke up this morning. I've been up since 530. My very first task of the day was to get on the internet, get into the thing, and apply for self-employed unemployment. I don't see about them denying me. I did everything that I was supposed to do. And now I'm just waiting to have the next thing. The beauty of all of this is, is I didn't give up. I didn't give up on a lot of things and I'm mediating my time right now because I have sparked something in myself to do a whole lot of amazing things. There'll be a group meditation on Zoom that I'm doing and I'm really excited about that. I'm getting ready to start advertising for that like this week. And I'm also uh, doing my podcast now, the Wise Dreamer podcast. I'll put a link to the podcast in the description of this, this video so that you can also follow, uh, subscribe to that and follow that podcast as it comes out. And I'll also put a link to the YouTube channel as well. If you're a podcast listener, I really would like for you to listen to the Wise Dreamer podcast. The next one drops on Thursday. So I have like three podcasts that I need to record this week. <laughs> So I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing. I'm also talking to you more regularly because I really want to be able to connect with people because we're at home. <laughs> and also because I think I have enough stuff to share. You guys were very um, willing to listen to me before when I was talking about abundance. And I'm going to start teaching about that as well on this channel as well as on other vehicles. And I have my website back up, dawnori.com. So if you haven't been there visiting, please visit. Let me know what you think as well. I'll put the link to my website down in the bottom as well. Let's see. So this has been an intentionally productive time for me because I didn't want to waste this time. I didn't want to waste the opportunity to be in motion and creative right now. A lot of people that I know are just kind of going through the motions. They're not sure what they need to do. They're not working right now, but they're not doing anything that will promote them being more creative having other avenues to just shine and show up so with all of that being said i want to thank you so much for being with me on this journey of the ppp loan i wanted to make sure that i gave you guys the great stuff and not just the oh my god it blew my mind stuff because i wanted you guys to know that there are things that are happening that are good remember i said there's opportunity every single place if we just look for it and if we don't give up on it I didn't know that it was going to come back around. I certainly didn't know that I was going to be a recipient. I did know that I was going to try. I did know that. So if you haven't put in your PPP loan, please do. Make sure you keep your documentation. That is the key to all of this at the end. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please do me a favor, like it and share it. And also hit the subscribe button. We want you here. And I want to be able to share with you as much as possible everything that I know about living the best life possible in this time. Thanks so much for watching.